Hey fellow Star Trek fans, um, I'd like to welcome you to another video. Um, this video, instead of one of the collectibles, um, I'm going to be doing another vintage model for you guys. I'll do the unboxing, and then I'll do the build, and then I'll do a video of the completed model. But this is, this is pretty cool. This is the vintage model of the AMT Ertl Star Trek Cutaway USS Enterprise. Um, this is a skill level of two. It has removable sections reveal the inner workings of the original Enterprise. So this is this is pretty cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. I know they have a, a reissue um, AMT recently within the past couple of years, um, but this is a vintage, more vintage one. I'm not sure of the date. Um, when I find the date, I will let you know. But let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look and see what's inside. I know it's an older, older model. Let's see if you can see that. All right. Uh, looking in, I can see right off the bat we got. This is actually going to be a pretty good size model. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 22 to 23 inches long. Um, you, can, you can see the reflector dish area, the side of the secondary hull. Uh, it's a pretty good size. Um, the second bag contains the saucer section. And again, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good looking size. The legendary spaceship we all know and love. And it also has the nacelles, and you can see the nacelle inner workings. This is very cool. I'm very excited to do this. And let's see, we have some clear sections as well. I'm thinking it's the bridge, the top and the bottom of the saucer section, and what might be the nacelles, I'm not sure. Um, but those are the clear sections. And what else is in here? We have the decals. That's, that's so cool. I'll put photographs up of it. So you can pause it and you can check it out and you can see all the decks and like I had done in my other video in my other model videos for the vintage models that I've made when I made the AMT the 25th anniversary USS Enterprise I modified it by putting extra lights in and I think I'm going to modify this one by putting lights in this one as well. This is the kind of model that just it just begs to be lit up. And again, there are different uh, instructions. And again, I'll put everything up for you in a picture form. So we have that. And we have USS Cutaway. 30th Anniversary Commemorative Model Kit. I guess the first thing is the saucer section. It's actually got a little bridge. And you can see the little bridge that goes in. Yeah, this, this is going to be so cool to be lit up. I'll light, probably light the bridge and the saucer section. Well, I'll probably light as much as I can. Again, I'm going to put up still shots of this for you guys to check out. It's just uh, really, really cool stuff. The nacelles, the inner workings of the nacelles, and it's got a pretty cool looking base. It's got the delta sign, the symbol for the base, and it's got the the instructions in a different language. I don't know, I'm thinking that that's French. 
and I got them in another language. Again, let me see if I can find a a date on these. And it's got the blue printer. Subscribe. Let's see. Usually you can find the date on the instructions where it gives the fine print little tidbits about the model. I don't uh, I don't see it. So if I come across it I will let you guys know the date. I would like to know the date as well. Um, AMT Ertl. I usually do the copywriting and dating and stuff like that. And it does have a color chart because there's going to be a lot of colors and that's just, <laughs> that's really cool. I'm looking forward to doing this. So, let's keep the box up for the background so you can see the picture of it. And what we'll do is we'll start going through some of the bags and check out the saucer section bag. Open it up this way. I'll show you guys the saucer section. Oh, this is so cool. I said this is going to be a good size uh, model kit. And it's going to, going to be able to put the halves together and then remove them. I'm not sure how it's going to go together, but we'll see that as the as it goes along. And show you guys the inner workings, of all the decks and things. That is so cool. Check it out. All the different paintings, and I'm thinking I'm going to light the whole background too. This probably is for the other hull, that part that comes off the other half of the hull. And then the cells. Interestingly that this piece is all on the nacelle part. Usually the nacelles are separate and you glue this part on. But this part is part of the nacelles. This of course being the outside. You can see the inside of the nacelles or in a cell. You guys ever wonder what makes the Enterprise go? Well, here it is. It's amazing, isn't it? Fellow Trek fans, this is so awesome. I can't wait to put this together. And what else is in here? A couple of trees and the other half of the nacelle. Alright, so that's what was in the first bag. We got the saucer section, the decks of the primary hull, we got one nacelle, and we got the halves. So, we can move ahead and go to the second bag. I'll just go ahead and open this up for you. And the second bag has the secondary hull. Oh, you can see where that's going to be separated. It's pretty cool. Again, this is going to be a pretty good size model kit. And the stand that I was telling off, oh, this is the where the reflector dish is going to go. the stand that I was showing you in the instructions. I'll put uh, pictures of it, um, better pictures for you to see. I don't know if you can see this stuff really that clearly, but you can see the bottom of the stand is attached to the secondary hull. We should make it easier, a little bit easier for it to go to the base. Pretty cool. You can see the 
inner workings of that will require some painting and detail work. Let's see, I've got the other nacelle in here. And what's interesting is, remember I was telling you the other nacelle, the end cap was on the nacelle and usually I told you it's usually a separate piece. Well this one is a separate piece. All you builders of the Enterprise know that you usually have a separate piece at the end. And this nacelle actually has the um, the pylon which attach, attaches it to the secondary hull, whereas the other one does not. It's over here where the other one has to be put together. Um, you got the reflector dish. That's pretty cool. And then with this you got the other half of the nacelle. And you have the fins that go on the nacelles. And this is what looks to be the bridge. I don't know if you can see that right there. You can see the bridge. That requires some painting and detail work, but that will look good hopefully when it's done. And I'm going to light that. And this, I'm not quite sure what this is. This could be the other half of the base that attaches the secondary hull to the foundation of the display stand. We'll see. But that's the second bag. And this is, it's all modeled in gray. Um, so it's looking like the, the outside of the ship doesn't does not have to be painted. Well, minimal paint for the outside, but the um, obviously all the decks and all the detail work on the inside have to be detailed. Um, and hopefully I do it justice and it comes out good. And the last bag is the clear. It looks like, yeah, that looks actually to be, that dome looks like the nacelles, the nacelle cap. See, one of, it looks like one of the nacelle caps is split, you know, so that way there you can open it up and take half of it off. Whereas the one, this one, um, is going to be solid, so that just comes right off. And I'm thinking it's got the top of the bridge and the bottom of the saucer section. Um, again, I'd like to light those, but we'll see as we go along. And that seems to be all the pieces, all the bagged pieces, and the instructions that came with, uh, with this kit. So let me just kind of... Make sure nothing spills out and put everything back up for you guys to see. And that was the unboxing of the Star Trek cutaway. Again, um, to see if I see it on the box. The box shows you pictures of the finished model. And I hope mine looks as good. It actually looks like they painted the um, the outside white. It's probably I'll probably go by the instructions, and hopefully it comes out good. Um, again, I like to open up the vintage model kits and make them for you guys. That way, there you don't have to. You can keep yours in shrink wrap, and you can keep it on the shelf. And I can go ahead and open up mine and um, build it, paint it, and then enjoy it. And I'll show you guys videos as I go along with each stage of the building process. And then I'll do a completed video for you guys. And like I said, I'm probably going to light this. So you'll see it in other videos. But I thank you guys for watching. And I look forward very much to building this. And... I hope I do a good job and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.